Hi guys, happy Friday. Um, you'll have to excuse the noise, we have construction going on today, but today we are bringing lemons to the hearth on my table. On Wednesday's video, we decorated my mantle, which you see here, with a sort of summer look and feel. However, it's missing a few key components. A few of you said, Liz, add a bird next to your bird's nest. Why didn't I think of that? Hello. And then I ordered these on Amazon. I'm seriously drawing a blank. I cannot, for the life of me, think of what these are called. I will link them below for you though, if you're interested and like these. I think I only have four, four of these. So I'm just gonna put one, two, I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but uh, I think it's gonna give it like kind of a drapey look. Plus, I love the color. By the way, guys, I got uh, two new tripods. Please let me know if this lighting is too much. I've got three lights. This is a whole different setup. Uh, so, so let me you'll know. have to forgive me. I feel like I'm a little emotionally drained today. Um, yesterday, I went to see the naturopathic doctor. Um, I will tell you it was the best decision I've made in my life. I can get into that more, but um, anyway, I've been doing research all morning, and I got up early, and I'm just like, I got to do a video. I got to get one out. So please excuse me. Um, we'll get through this just fine. I'm trying to get my little, uh, trying to channel my funny mode. All right, back on track. Let's add these. Finally, it took me long enough to remember what those are called. They're called succulents. See, it just adds a pretty textural element. Let's add this sweet little bird. Isn't he or she cute? So I have this pretty wreath from TJ Maxx and I thought, Oh, it's a little fancier than the one I already have up there. I don't know, but I, I really love that one up there. So I don't know if I'll save this for a different room. I'm thinking. So I think that looks better. Great idea adding the bird. It kind of finishes off the look, and I love the succulents kind of added in just to add a little more texture. All right, moving over here, we have this table on the hearth. I was trying to think of what to add here, and I don't know, because it's summer, I wanna go light. I went a little darker up here, so now I wanna add something light that will match my sofas, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I'm gonna add this um, old window that I got at an antique store. It kind of fits nicely in this space and it lightens it up. So let's do it. Favorite glass cleaner, Sprayway. Let's place it. So what I thought I would add next is this framed canvas piece. I believe I got this on Amazon. And what I'm gonna do, uh, the reason I wanna add the lemons is to tie in with the mantle. But because I'm adding a lighter piece, I want it to mix with some of the black I've got up going on up there. So I thought this would be a nice addition. So what I'm gonna do is I have this little thumbtack and what I'm going to do is go up here and I'm going to twist it into the wood. I did this at my other house so I know it, it works well and then I'm going to hang this in the center of the 
window. Now also too, if I wanted to do a layering effect, I could just simply set it there. And that would be cute too. And that's what it looks like. Easy peasy. Now see, doesn't that piece of artwork give the window an entirely different new look? I just think it looks really, really neat. Now, if you wanted to do something similar, use a piece of artwork, you could use a wreath, you could use a really cute sign to jazz up your window, sky's the limit. But then when you pan over to the rest of the mantle, I just love how it all ties together. Now, because I have a cute little bird up there, I have this galvanized steel, piece. I got this on Amazon, super cute, with a little bird. And I thought I would try to squeeze some greenery in here and then add some lemons. I don't know if it'll work, but let's well, try I'm it. I'm going to think I've lost my marbles, but I, I, I've got some Amazon packing material. And I need to elevate my greenery because this is pretty deep. So I'm going to try to put this in here so I can get my greenery elevated. Hey, it's working. It's like whatever works, right guys? Perfect. Now I can stick my greenery in and I've got a nice cushiony base for my lemons. I have some greenery from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little uh, greenery pick, one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna stick that in there and pull it through. And now I'm going to add this little pick just to fluff it up a little bit. So I ran down to my storage room and I grabbed some lemons and I'm going to try to squeeze them through. And I've got this cute little floral pick, Hobby Lobby, and I may just stick this in the center of the lemons and kind of pull it through. I like it. I think it's cute. It kind of draws your eyes upward. Next, I have this candle holder, and this was, I think, a goodwill find, but I love the little dangly crystals. So again, I'm trying to add in some black now, since I've lightened it up a little bit, to kind of match with what I have going on on the mantle. We have to have some ambiance. Gonna add a candle. Now, because we added succulents, let's tie it in down below. So, gosh, help me decide which one to use. I don't know which one. So I have this cute little one, TJ Maxx. It was $9.99. Y'all keep telling me to take the stickers off and I keep forgetting. I like to leave them on because sometimes if I do a garage sale, people know, they can see they're getting a good deal when they see the price. So, because you guys know, I've got lots of decor. Um, when I'm done with it, I like to do a garage sale. Okay, so there's this cute little one, and then there's this one. I just love it. This was TJ Maxx, but I don't know what the price was. Um, but I did like the little dangly things. Cute, right? So, I don't know. Should I go? I kind of...
think I should go with this one because it goes with the ones up there. But then I also like the dark deep green because it goes with the topiaries and the um, wreath. I don't know. Okay, so there's this one, and now let's try the other one. I don't know, I think my eyes keep going to this one. I don't know, I just really like the dark, deep green. I like the other one too, but uh, I like the drapiness of this one. And since I'm just doing a grouping of three, that's it. So I did get this uh, Pitberry Garland off of Amazon, still in the packaging. So I'm going to take it out of the package and give it a little fluffing and I may put it around the window. I don't know. We'll see. So I did end up putting the Pitberry Garland around the uh, window. I just, I really like the texture. Just reminds me of spring where all the flowers and everything are blooming and I don't know. I just like it. So I'm going to leave it. So now I'm going to bring back my pretty little floral arrangement I made and I'm going to stick it back under that table, but probably on the opposite side. So now that that's done, oh, I forgot to, you know what? Mm. Now right over here, I'm going to put uh, two different pillows in here for late spring, early summer. So I have this pillow and this one that says, squeeze the day. And the two together, I think will be rather cute. that's going to wrap up my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Getting in the mood for summer. Have a fabulous weekend and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Mwah. Bye guys.